Hello folks, this is Nonnard516 here with Hiratan Almighty 2011 and we would like to welcome you back to our let's play of Pokemon Platinum and my dumb ass in the last part made a mistake and called, I called 7 twice but this is actually part 9 folks actually what happened is that you didn't call it 7 at all in like part 7 so that's why I thought 8 was 7 I might have, we didn't actually review the whole video but anyway Besides the point here. Anyway, um, let's switch out back to Grotto here. I really don't remember what this chick has. And let's get. What kinds of Pokemon live around here, I wonder? I don't really wonder. I'm wondering why you're here. That's about it. And she has a bee doof. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Let me show you my Pokemon collection. <laughs> yeah. Razor leafed your ass in the face. 
Uh, uh, yeah, one hit. That was gorgeous. <laughs> I'm imitating Beatty. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Pachirisu. Nah. Let's get Grotto out of here and throw in The Rock. Finally, The Rock has come back to... <laughs> that was terrible. Uh, let's go for Rock Polish. Just because I really hate when the opponent goes first. And uh, I think one rock polish ought to do the trick in this case. You know, you know, I know that like they have moves that are based off the, the Pokemon's gender, such as like attract and charm. What I don't get uh -oh. is when Pokemon use it when it's the same type. Like, I've had it once where a male Pokemon tried using attract on my male Pokemon. Huh. And charm. Oh, haven't you noticed? Um. In Generation 5, all Autonos do this as well, despite their genders. Yeah, and it's just, it's just like, I obviously, for obvious reasons, I can see why Attract doesn't work, but why does Charm work? Uh, who I know, knows? I know, I know, um, well, this is also a fun fact. In the, um, the Japanese and French versions of Black and White 2, when you play as the, the male protagonist, um, one of the, um, in the summer, when you go on the Ferris wheel and face a, um, a nurse aide, who in the Japanese version goes by the name of Enatsu, but the English name is, um, I think, uh, June, pretty much. This is completely taken out of the English, um, version, but in the French and Japanese version, this character is actually the first case of a cross-dresser in Pokemon. That nurse aide is actually a guy who's dressing as a girl because he wants to keep the job. You know, it's funny because Hiratan mentioned this. But he actually said that it was an NPC named Yancey in Black 2. Which, of course, is incorrect because Yancey is a chick. No, a no, real no. I chick. Said, no, I said, <laughs> not, I said N. Natsu, not Yancey. Nah, you said Yancey. When did <laughs> I say Yancey? <laughs> anyway. You look back in the video and post and you'll see, well, you see that you fucked <laughs> up there. Yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever, okay, okay, whatever. That'd be fun. That'd be funny if like that would be funny if like the explanation for like all the explanation for all flat-chested girls is that they're actually guys. Oh, oh, In God. Pokemon, I mean. level fourteen. Yes, the Rock is growing powerful. Like on honestly, like the thing I said back then, how like Nintendo doesn't listen to fans. At least they are like in with the world today because like they put in internet memes they put stuff that's popular in anime and everything they have fucking, like cross-dressing and everything in the japanese version at least <laughs> hell like even what you call it like kind of straying away from pokemon in um the paper mario series in paper mario 2 the shadow sirens the japanese version they are actually guys cross-dressing as girls and all the dialogue is basically referring to the fact that they are trying to like stay pretty and the insults are basically saying like you're not even a woman this is obviously taken out of the english version and they were changed to girls in general however there's a line of dialogue where they basically mistranslate it as he instead of she yeah there was something like that in did you know gaming talking about Paper uh, Mario. They, yeah, they did that with Birdo also, how Birdo was a, um, a cross-dresser in the original. And Birdo's disgusting. Whoa! Was a cross-dresser in the original, and in the remake, in every single remake after that, um, the Japanese version, she's still a cross-dresser, and the English version, she's just a girl. Okay, so we are, right now, on our way to uh, Eterna City. But of course, first we have to get to the forest, so... This route basically just leads to the forest. It's a, a good way to train your, your team up. And uh, I really love it because if you have a grass or water type starter here, this is the best way to make them tough. And I'm doing good. I'm, I'm at my normal pace, actually. Every time I play a Generation 4 game, or at least one of the Sinnoh ones, I'm always at 21 or higher by the time I hit Eternal Forest. So I'm very satisfied with this LP so far. I haven't f Whoa! Up, which is good, because the last thing I need is to f*** <laughs> Of course, wild encounter rate. What are we running into here? Oh, Bidoof. <laughs> Larry! <laughs> I love Bidoof. Anyway, we are going to run, because we don't want to fight no f***ing Oh, fight a girl. Um, I'm going to switch out, actually, because she has fighting types, and... Who better to fight a fighting type than a flying? 
Something that always disappointed me. When I, something that always disappointed me when I was playing Black and White Two is that Hey White Two, since I was playing as the female protagonist. I well, that's interesting because. So Sorry for the cut there, guys. Oh, anyway, um, <laughs> well, oh, that'd sure. just be too awkward. Anyway, um, when I was playing the female protagonist in Black and White 2, um, it's just, I felt really bad, because, like, every single time, like, a girl, like, came on to me, just like, I can't do anything. Hmm. I really don't know what is wrong with my iPod, per se. Because, you know, it didn't get messed up on the last few videos. So, you know, it might have just been... That, ugh, who knows, who cares. Anyway, it's not going to happen again. It was so. Steve. <laughs> this chick, we can switch out again, because she has a Piplup. So, we're just going to wreck it. Um, Gen 4, I believe. Yeah, it was Gen 4, technically, because I'm counting 2 and 4 is the same thing. Um, Gen 4 is the first time that trainers would actually have starter Pokemon in uh, their team. This technically started with Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal. However, it was missing in Generation 3, and I count it as 4 because of the remix as well. Yeah. In Generation 2, there's actually a girl who, um, right before the Pokemon League, she has a Blastoise. A very powerful one, too. And one there's have. one that had a Bulbasaur, pretty much. Oh, and like that, um... Oh, wait, I we, I forgot. We don't need to go into this house. I specifically, Sorry. I actually specifically remember a, a Fire Breather in, um, the Burn Tower that had a Charmeleon. Oh, Yeah. Which is no. funny because when I played Soul Silver and I had it so I can snag Pokemon, like that's where I got my starter. Anyway, we're gonna go into Eternal Forest now. Yes, Eternal Forest actually had a um, upgrade since the last time. Before it was just a generic forest. Now it actually has the overlay of a um, trees in the distance. Well, a canopy, pretty much. Yeah. Hello, my name's Cheryl, and you are. Well. We're waiting. Pokemon, okay, so. so your name is Lucas. I, I, I have a thing for green hair now. I'm sincerely glad to meet you. Why are you making your sound like that? Can I go to the forest with Stop you? Stop it! Please! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna go run into the forest with Cheryl. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Got places to... Oh, God. No. Okay. This is the introduction. No. What? No. What? Don't do that ever uh, again. This is the introduction of having a uh, party member in your team. Something new to Pokemon, actually. Mm -hmm. um, your party me um Occasionally, you would have a double battles with um, a party member, but this is the first time you can actually bring them with you. When you have a party member, you cannot use a bike if you have one. However, you can run around. Every battle you get into, um, wild or... Um, if you get into a wild battle, it will automatically be double. However, you can fight people on your own if you yourself is just seen. And you can only use three of your Pokemon, like last time, while your partner uses three of their Pokemon. And Cheryl, interesting fact about her is that although she uses um, a Chansey now, later on she's actually going to be known for having some kind of... Extremely overpowered Pokemon. <laughs> like, I believe she actually has a Latias later on, which is kind of out of place. It's like, how the fuck did you get that? <laughs> anyway, um, you know, Hariton actually reminded me. Uh, for those of you who don't know, for those of you who do, you know, whatever. In the anime, in like another 9 or 10 episodes, give or take, the Unova League is gonna be starting. Yeah. It's gonna be... What? Oh, awesome, folks. And one of the first battles, I believe, is Trip versus Ash. So it's going to be really awesome. I hope you folks all try at least to, to catch at one of the episodes. Because really, the league battles are the best episodes of the entire season. The entire journey, I should say. Like The whole series is defined by how good its league battles are. So uh, we're going to tackle Silcoon in the face. Although there's no way to catch um, Chansey right now, um, I will say that pretty much Chansey is good if you want a, um, uh, a physical wall due to the fact that it has a very, very high defense and it also has a lot of HP, mostly when it evolves. Yeah. Uh, he, of course, forgets that it has terrible special defense, 
That's its one flaw. And as you move further through the game, when you really need a tank like that, that's when they rely most heavily on special defense. Well, it's a good. So phys- it's really, pretty much a good physical wall. Really, Blissey is a total piece. Of Whoa! But you know, to each his own. You want to catch a Blissey? Go for yours. I sure as hell. Was won't. it Ard- Was it Ardino that has the um the special defense, or am I just thinking of something else? Ardino has special def and def. He's a boss. Only problem with Ardino is, ah, uh, he's pink. <laughs> And it just, pink doesn't work for him much like all the other majority of the normal type Pokemon in the series. Mm. And, uh, mm-hmm. we have defeated our first tag team. Ah, so let's run here. Oh, what is this? There's an item! Paralyzed heal! Oh, this actually reminds me, we have found a lot of free items. Like, um, potion wise, we have found seven already. Like, we haven't bought a single Whoa. potion yet. It's awesome. But we did run out now, so. Which we don't need, because a uh, wonderful fact about traveling with somebody else. Uh, they will always bring your Pokemon back to health after a fight. So, uh, in this case, you'll be fully healed for every single battle. And uh, we just... The problem with this right here is, uh, since both Abras know hidden power... And it's super effective against Chansey. It might just get knocked out. So we're going to have to hope that we can raise the leaf thumb like maybe two or three times and the battle be done. And Chansey actually didn't take too much damage. That's because it's a wall. <laughs> Surprisingly enough. And all right. Nice. We completely knocked out one Abra and one Razor Leaf. Nice. Wow, we're just a couple of bosses out here. Now, I realize a lot of you might say, well, what, why didn't you use Bite, you stupid Whoa! But, you know, I can knock out, I could kill two birds with one stone, so why not? Um, oh, I want to get that item. So I'm just going to spray me a, rope, a repel. Okay, yeah, you can find Badoos in here. But nobody really cares because... By the time you find the item to get a Rose Raid, it's like, why even bother anymore? So, hold on. Ah, oh, damn it. I would, hmm, yeah, I was going to use the Repel, but I just remembered, you know, we're supposed to show you everything that's in here, so. Hmm. And just another couple of Badoos, so pretty useless. La, 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 la. Another thing to note is that there's... Netball. I don't know what... I forget where it is. I Actually, no. It's at um, back at the beginning. Damn but it. This air, Eternal Forest is actually one or two locations in Sinnoh you can go to to, um, evo- to evolve a, um, a Leafeon... To evolve an Eevee into a Leafeon. Yeah. Anyway, um, we are running out of time, so we're just going to cut it here. Uh, see you next time, guys. Later.